So hey everyone, um, I'm back. I wanted to give another video. Um, this subject was more from my boyfriend, um, well fiance actually, but um, and just with the whole competition that went on this weekend, um, I have I really wanted to talk about this, and it's about um, competitors being natural and not natural, so on steroids. Um, these questions come up a lot. A lot of people who don't know about competitions will just completely assume that everybody who competes uh, are on steroids, which is not true. Um, but still, as a competitor, it's really, really hard because we do compete against people that are not natural. And um, obviously, as All Natural Fitness says that we, we are, and it's frustrating because our um, progress is not as fast as these people. Um, and obviously we compete against people that have it way easier than we do. Um, so it, it's not it's not easy, but uh, the whole reason you have to really remember why you compete. It's not always about winning. It's about surpassing your own limits, about performing to your as, to your full potential basically. Um, I, I've been questioning a lot with my trainer because I'm at a certain point where I'm at the Canadians where girls were not being tested. Um, I'm going probably to the Arnold's next year, so that's going to be really interesting to see because it's even worse than the Canadians. So, um, and I'm second guessing myself because right now in my in my off season, I am getting gains, I am gaining muscle. Um, but really not as fast. I have girls that at the Canadians who said, oh, I've gained about 10 pounds since last competition of lean muscle mass. But 10 pounds of lean muscle mass is physically impossible if you are natural. And it just frustrates me so much. Because if I ha go to a competition, I weigh, let's say, 130 pounds, and I'm like, what, 8% fat, which is really low for a girl, um, and I get... Next year, I'm at 148% fat. That that's unrealistic. So for me, the little gains I might be 130 last year, and I might be 132, 133 next year. So um, it, it's frustrating, and that's I, something that I wanted to talk about. Um, for for guys, I think it's a bit more frustrating, um, just because it's so obvious. Uh, guys will gain way more muscle than girls naturally. And unnaturally also um, and my fiance is kind of in that boat he's about 180 pounds right now and he uh, competes at 155 so just to tell you like he looks huge he looks massive right now really muscular but when you cut down fat takes a lot of room in your body so um, it's frustrating because when he goes out he maybe last year he was the year before he was 154, last year he was 155, and what, next, this year he'll be 156? Like, it's really frustrating for him when he sees these guys that are, you see these gains, and it, it, it increases their credibility. Obviously, as a trainer, as an athlete, you're like, oh my god, I want to be trained by this person, he's so freaking huge. Well, it is frustrating for us, um, but we want to remind everybody that, in our opinion, it's way more rewarding. Um, pushing your limits naturally and having all those gains and the gains that you gain are obviously something that are is going to stay for a long time without um, having any other effects on your body in the long term. So it is rewarding. It's just you got to remind yourself why you compete, why you train. Um, don't get into that um, steroid cycle because once you start, I'm pretty sure it's hard to, to stop, which I would understand because People get those gains and you see, oh my god, like I train probably the same way, but I gain like three times more muscle than I would if I didn't take the steroids. And then you stop and then you stop gaining and you even might get complete other symptoms like estrogen increases. So you get some um, female um, hormones going at you. So uh, you want to just keep taking more and more and it'll never stop. So in my opinion, please don't start because you won't be able to stop. And if you need help, if you need tricks, because we do have a lot of tricks, we've got to compensate for not being on steroids. So we have to have, we have to be at our full potential every time. 
So if you need some of those tricks, please don't hesitate to contact us or email me anything and I'll, I'll do a video for you guys without uh, any problems with that. So um, that's probably a subject that will come back quite often. Um, Dominic's been uh, just started today his 14-week uh, um, pre-muscle mania which is in Montreal this year instead of Las Vegas. So it's a little smaller trip for us, which is good. Um, and I'm on my way to the Arnold's in February. So I'm still in my off season. I'm trying to cut down a little bit, lean out a little bit right now um, while gaining muscle mass. So it's not quite that easy, but I'll come back to that on uh, another video. So uh, with that said, uh, have a great day and we'll see you very shortly. Bye.